what's good everybody welcome back to the channel i'm not fiction don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as notification bell to stay up to date on all content going down on this channel appreciate you love you now to the video nah, this ain't nonsense this is non-fiction so excuse if the content is offensive it's official now that we have been acquainted this is my pleasure my pain you were entertaining me what's good everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Nonfiction. this is ready set geek and we have a brand new reaction for you guys and this reaction is for the official wb slash dc trailer for blue beetle yes i said it right blue beetle I, I believe the trailer dropped a little earlier than what was supposed to be dropping uh the movie's supposed to hit hit theaters and only in theaters august 18th um the film is being directed by angel manuel soto and is starring jolo mariduano and i know i'm probably you know americanizing up the the, the, the pronunciation of the name but Jolo Mariduena is is how I'm going to say it. That's how I know how to say it. Let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it and see what this trailer has to offer us. I'm actually excited to see this. When I seen the initial um, high def behind the scene pictures of the suit, I was I was I was in 100 percent. 100 percent. The suit looked great. But let's get into it, y'all. And if you're new to the channel, be true to the channel. Tap subscribe button as well as notification bell. Also, don't forget to like the video. Appreciate you. Love you. Let's get it. Excuse me, <laughs> Mr. Reyes. You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Oh. <laughs> okay. Everything right now feels so Palmer outrage. City. You always land on your feet, bro. Very colorful. Hyman. That cool? That was really quick. They don't get out much. <laughs> I just want to rap. Jenny? Guard, I have that's in your life. But do not open it. You went in to get a shot. That's a big, so nice big belly. <laughs> Okay, it's making its actual right appearance into the live action. What the hell is that? Oh, that looks cool. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. <laughs> hey! Get it on! Hey, unk! Hey, man. Oh. Oh, that looks good. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Mm. Oh yeah, that that looks oh, good. Who said that? It's okay, it's gonna be okay. Oh. oh. Kind of super oh, Superman esque right there. That little ready. shot. This ain't what you want. <laughs> this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Oh. I like that. In oh, the little. To show you the CGI and the real life, the can't get the water. It's some kind of world destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. Oh, I like I like that shot. The Beetle Vision. I I, I think I cut a bus in half. <laughs> the scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Susan Sarandon. Hello, you feel for your family. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Who was that? Damn! The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. That's right, huh? Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's party. Did he just make an anime sword? Oh, that's fire right there. That's fire. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just want to <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> when did Batman become a fascist? Oh, I love smart. DC is smart when it comes to this. When they market the movies with the books, Marvel started to do it like some some time back, but it didn't always just work. It didn't always flow well because Marvel's comics didn't always weren't always the greatest, but. This is actually a really cool trailer. This is a really fun trailer. I, I I will say this though. I will say this. It feels it feels a slight bit marvelish. And I think I think it's because of the color. Because we're so used to DC being a darker style of tone. But we all know that to me, Beatles kind of like he's kind of like the Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of like that character, you know, of the of the universe. But I, I do like that. I like the way it looks. The suit is fire. 
the vision. Okay, let's let's pull up some couple things. Um, but but first, let's get into one little thing. Let's talk about the breakdown of what the story is about. It says recent college graduate graduate uh, Jaime Reyes returns home, full of aspirations for his future, only to find that home is not quite as he left it. As he searches to find his purpose in the world, fate intervenes when Jaime unexpectedly finds himself in possession of an ancient relic alien of alien biotechnology, the Scarab. When the Scarab suddenly chooses Jaime to be a symbiotic host, he is bestowed with an incredible suit of armor capable of extraordinary and unpredictable powers, forever changing his destiny as he becomes a superhero Blue Beetle. Okay, so from, from my understanding, when they first and now Susan Sarandon is joining the cast. I heard, I don't know if it's true to the story, that she's supposed to be Cord's sister. And she's been uh, trying to get the, the Scarab. Ted Cord, Ted Cord being the second iteration of the Blue Beetle. And the first iteration being Dan Garrett. That's, Dan Garrett's not one I really know much about, but I believe I believe he and Cord technically didn't have full powers, or they didn't know the full extent of the, what the Scarab could do. And once Jaime got it with it, Jaime was able to utilize it on, different, on a different level. But I know that's also deals with the writing of the comics as, it, as the time went, went, went along. Also, in the in the trailer, did we see when Lopez says that Batman was a fascist, did we see anything dealing with the other suits? I thought I saw other suits in the background. Oh, actually, first, let's go here. So this scene here, is that the sword from Bleach? But is that the Bleach sword? I'm just curious. I'm curious if that's the Bleach sword because Jaime Reyes may have watched, may watch anime. So the Scarab says anything that you can think of, I can create. So did he think of the Bleach sword as a weapon, which actually is pretty fire if it did. But just, just that little sequence, this sequence is fire. The suit looks amazing. Yeah, I love this. This is so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, I think it's here. Boom, right in the background. So if you can see past the, I believe she must be the scientist or the caretaker of the of the Scarab because she's the one that it off to Jaime when he's supposed to come to the interview. But if you look in the back, you see both suits, which is actually pretty cool. That means that both characters exist in the DC universe or this part of the dc universe that's the other question is jaime reyes and blue beetle are they elseworld like gun said that some characters will be elseworld so they won't be part of the general continuity of dc or is he part of the new dc will we get an explanation where ted cord is is ted cord deceased by this time or did he disappear because of some some alien tech that somebody comes snatch him up what's what's going on in this universe that's what i want to know how far will they give us as far as information so we know where the story may lead to, but it's very colorful, very colorful. And the other thing that I like about this is that it's so family oriented. And that's something we normally don't get with like DC films, not not to this extent. That's where I say like when I watch it, I feel like it's kind of marvelish, which I have no problem with. I have no problem with that at all. Other thing I do like is the fact that it looks really good and we know it's CGI, but it looks really good for CGI. It doesn't look separate from the tone. Doesn't look like it's a different layer of content. It's just on his hand. It looks like it's actually on his hand. And I love that part too. And these visuals, very venomish, very, very venomish. How it was coming out and a little bit like the stringiness of it. It looks like venom. It reminds me of venom. And of course, even this whole scene is feels like venom. That suit is badass. It's badass. It looks so good. I like that. I like the little bitty touches. It's so freaking cool. Good, good job, DC. I know you guys didn't hear the sound of me. I just want to show the visuals because if I did, then I have to. Yeah, it's a claim thing. Don't worry about it. But I'll say this. Being that it's filmed from IMAX, I guarantee you it's going to be amazing IMAX. August 18th is coming to theaters, only in theaters. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It looks great. It feels good. It feels, as a whole, it feels much better than the Flash trailer. Flash trailer felt good because of certain parts. But uh, you guys let me know. What do you think about this trailer? Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Did you feel antsy in your pants you know what i'm saying what what did what were your thoughts about the blue beetle trailer this movie is going to make a lot of money anyways i appreciate you i love you hope you have a wonderful day night evening morning noon wherever you are in well today if you're new to the channel be true to the channel hit that subscribe button as well notification bell my name is not fiction appreciate you love you catch you next one peace out y'all this was a good ass trailer